Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Curse of the Dead Gods 1.0. Ooh. Do we have to... Okay, so we do get both of these. Throwing daggers. Interesting. And, uh, and a whip, of course. Uh, is going to be our starting weapons of the day. We got our meta progress stuff up and online. We've got a little bit of extra gold to start with. Uh, we take less damage when we are in the light, and we get a free reroll. I think one reroll on every run, if I remember correctly. Events. Uh, unique try event. So I'm assuming these are kind of like challenges. Available in one day. Oh. What? So is this kind of like the dailies, like in place of the dailies, or I don't understand. Uh, this this has the potential to be very cool, but let's go to the storm thrones between the storm throne and the bewitched catacombs. I guess I was uh, I was wrong before. It looks like we are going to be going through base areas of these new zones. These zones did not exist when I played the game last, so that's really really interesting. I wonder if they're going to be similarly length then? Yeah, okay. All right, so I guess we got a couple uh, quicker quicker runs to go through here with these other areas, which I'm really excited by. That's right, we got a different weapon. What the hell is that? We got a different kind of trap up there I've not seen before. Okay, all right, this is rough. So with a ranged weapon, we are already off to a terrible start. I don't know these guys. Ah, we are locking ourselves into uh, an attack right away. Is there no torch anywhere? Might as well make my own torch then. Yeah, these guys don't seem to uh, care too much about the fact that I'm ranged. Oh, baby. Yikes. So we got a different throwing weapon. Bonus damage against weakened enemies. Uh, does a little bit less damage. I don't know. We don't have any ability to weaken enemies yet, but I will take it with the uh, the hopes that we will get that in the future, I guess. Other than that, I su assume it should be basically... Yeah, it's the, it. they throw the same. So we were... Uh, ay, 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 ay. You, you don't attack behind you, do you? Nope. We just got to get used to all these traps that I've never seen before. This is a trap. It is, of course, a trap. Is that a trap? That is, of course, a trap. Just trying to activate all these gently. Oh, that's a spear. Like a big old long-range spear. That guy's bopped. Gotcha. Good. All right. Yikes. Okay, so. Whoop. But it's just right in front of him. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if the, uh, like, the final zone after, or the final run kind of thing. What? What? They continue following. The final zone is going to be like a combination of all of the traps in the game. Or all of the, uh, traps. Zones, including, you know, I guess, including all the traps. Or what, if it's going to be like, I don't know, like a, a temple that is a cross between all of them. That'd be neat. Okay, there we go. We got a... Actually got a light in here. Should go for the healer first. It is auto-targeting for us. Yep, get the hell out. Get the hell out. What the hell is going on? He's corrupting us. Can we not d escape that? God, this zone. I'm already having a rough time. I'm also having a rough time with this weapon. Oh, man. God, I'm having a terrible time here! Die! Maybe we just use our uh, our whip. Seems like we might have a better time with that. Okay, so the charge attack for that is a cross formation? Or does it auto-target all of the units around us? Not sure yet, man. All I know is that was terrible. Terrible. Okay, extra 10% damage, bonus treasure find, and damage. I think we should go with that. We have a thousand bucks. Let's let's make some good use of it. Bonus 25% treasure find. This early theoretically should add up to quite a bit. Uh, boy, howdy, we are we got bodied there. 
Yeah, we get an entire curse already because that one enemy, which I guess I don't really know how to uh, deal with. Gold permeates skin and bones. Lose as much gold as you take damage. But health loss is reduced by 25%. Okay. That seems... Seems bad, but hey, you know, like... I, that's one thing I really like about uh, roguelikes a lot, is they typically embody that kind of risk-reward system typically more often. Yeah, that charge shot, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, when am I going to be uh, in the middle of all of these enemies? Okay, never mind. It does seem to shoot an extra one out, potentially, even if uh, they're not to the side. So, so it seemed like maybe it's random which directions they go? No? I don't think it says anywhere. Maybe in the codex? No. I don't know why it would. Statistics? Uh-oh. No, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Get rid of that. Lose just as much gold as you take damage. Seems like a seems like a yikes. If we don't take much damage, it's not that big of a deal. All right. Pretend that didn't happen, Harpy. I mean, good news is it looks like he didn't notice, anyways. Cool. Whoa! From off screen. Oh my god! I can't even freaking see this harpy. Okay, she is spooky. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the uh, the throwing weapon there. It's like, you know, it's it's nice and safe, theoretically, but I'm having a hard time actually making it safe. Come on. Come on, you know you wanna. You know you wanna. Uh-oh. Did that work? It did not work. Do I care? I should care. Come on, you, you gotta break this, right? Oh my god! I don't know if it's worth it, man. I don't know if it's worth it. I, it's not. It's, oh, <laughs> I don't want to get bodied. So we have a couple paths here. Okay. Nothing here anyway. Taking a little bit too much damage. We already got our curse. Boy, this is... This is a beautiful start. What do you got for me here? Plus 20% base damage for heavy weapons. We actually don't have any, I don't think. Don't, not to say we won't get any. But should we just sell it? I'll take it. I'll take it. We might get one. Healing. Let's get silly. Let's go to the unknown. The unknown could end up being healing anyways, and we'll just we'll loop back up to that healing. The reason I'm comfortable... Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was healing anyways. Like it or not, you are healing. Okay. So with that in mind, are we going to go up the, uh, the stat path? Yikes. Oof. Get out of there. No idea what that thing is about. Whoop. So what is our combo here with the whip? Alright, alright. I think we can make use of that. This thing is scary. What? What do? Nothing. It is just a visual thing. Ah, nope. Yeah, it's not like... Ah, not that long of a range, which makes sense, you know? It's a it's a whip. It should be less, less range. Minus 20% blood offering cost. I guess I'll take it, because we're not missing out on that much HP right now. Regain 8% of your max HP when you pass through a door. Offer to the gods you can gain perception... I mean, that's really good. Okay. 
Whoop, whoop. I don't know you at all. Oh, gods. Curse of the... Not good. One... Okay, yeah, you are really rough. Yeah. God, learning new enemies in this game is tough. Tough, tough, tough. I'm gonna stop. Okay. So, we took less damage, but we lost a big chunk of gold, you would think. Okay, so there's that. Is there another path down here, though? There is. 33% to all healing effects. Let's take it, because we gain the, the extra HP just for entering rooms anyways. We have 880 right now. How much do we gain? Let's go this way. 106! That is nothing to scoff at. I holy. Holy moly. Okay. Let's get this torch lit up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So. Yep. You're a son of a gun. Okay. That was actually a pretty decent situation to use that charge shot there. Yep. Not good! Not good. How close do we have to be to hit him with two of the same? I don't know. Plus three perception? Absolutely. More gold gain or treasure find? There's probably a certain point here, unless we get something that scales off of perception, where that's not really going to be particularly worth it no more. Should we do, like, more of a stick and move with this thing? Ah! Okay, okay, okay. That actually was a really good use of that. I'm getting the hang of it. It's just gonna take the entire run. And then we're gonna die to the boss the second I get the quote-unquote hang of it. That's just often how it goes. In these here, these here roguelikes. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's nothing. Okay. Uh, plus 20% base damage for bows. Heal 6% max HP when an enemy is killed by the environment. Heal 9% of max HP when an enemy is killed by the environment. We also do gain the 4 dexterity. I'm going to take it for that. Because that helps uh, us make do more damage, right? Dex, dex is damage? Yeah, 18% damage. We'll go for that. And since the run is not too long, I don't think we want to... Like, I don't want to conserve my money forever. You can't take it with you, as they say. Cannot take it with you. Alright, so this is the... Oh, I was trying to use it to my advantage there. Whoop. No! Woo! Not good. That would have been a good opportunity for that attack there. All right, I'm, I'm starting to see how that move, the charge move, can be useful. Because it does look like it auto-homes auto in. Okay. I feel like I heard a... I thought I heard a... Um, stinking harpy as well. I guess these guys just kind of sound the same. Okay. So far, so fine. Like, we have enough sustain... What the hell is this thing? We have enough sustain. It's a, it's also a trap. Okay. Nope. Two traps in the same room. Excuse me. Rude dude. Okay. Ah, I was trying to get one. Oh, boy. One more little hit in there. Not good. But we get, like, a lot of HP back as we enter through the doors, so. All right, all right, all right. Actually, I am a, uh, I'm a hunting axes main. Bonus damage to fire attacks. So we actually do have a, an issue with that now. Uh, as soon as we pick it up, we can't sacrifice anything for money anymore, which makes that a, uh, I, I think a sell for me. Max HP, max HP treasure find. Let's offer the gold. 
because as we lose, uh, if we have zero gold, then that thing that makes it so we lose gold when we take damage uh, is just not an issue. Unless, unless it only gives us the damage reduction if we have the gold to facilitate it. Yeah, we got another curse. What do we got? Dark fervor. Once the darkness is in your blood, nothing can stop its spread, not even death. Corruption now passively increases over time. Going through a door no longer provokes corruption. Oh, God. I... So, basically, that's the speedrunner one. But I wouldn't put it past this game to make it so... Oh, shoot. To make it so, like, if you go quickly, it actually is a benefit. Okay. Okay. We're doing some pretty solid da damage there. I guess he must have some kind of like... Ah! <laughs> that was so weird. He must have some kind of iframes after his dash. Not fair. Only I should have iframes after my dash. Get ready for that. Ooh, my butt felt that for sure. I'm not even going to begin to start parrying an enemy like this yet because we're doing just fine we'll, we'll have to parry in the future I'm, I'm almost certain that we're gonna have to start start doing that i know that we can weaken by the way like somebody commented this already delete your comments stinker i am about to make you look like a fool uh yes i know we can weaken the enemies by parrying Oop. Yep. Yep. so like should we theoretically parry yes I am aware that we technically should. However, I am... God, that attack goes on forever. However, I'm new! Oh my god, he got like a laser blast. Alright, what do you got here for me? 15% critical damage. Uh, I don't remember how crit works in this game, but it's not just like... I don't think there's just a percentage chance for it to happen. I'm going to ditch it. <laughs> Anything that I don't understand is therefore bad, and I'm going to remove it. I'm pretty sure certain like criteria needs to be met for something to crit. Like, certain things crit on burning units, stuff like that. Uh, you know what? Send it! We're going to get one more curse by the end of this. As long as we don't reach the max curse, we are all good to me. Uh, the fact that we're rocking the exact same weapons is frankly kind of funny. Uh, but switching, I don't know, the, I'm probably not going to want to switch to a different style of weapon altogether for the boss, just because I'm kind of like a little bit used to this at this point. But, uh, whoop, uh, oh, the trap got us there. But maybe there's, like, an upgraded version of a throwing weapon, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Be careful here. Wait for that old energy to come back. These attacks are just easy enough to, to parry. Oh, my God. These weapons. I'm in it. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So we got two extra corruption there. We got to make sure we go relatively. God dang it, man. That trap. Relatively quick. Uh. Woo! Woo! No! 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 Everything is terrifying in this video game! Okay. I was trying to activate the trap. Good stuff. We alive, we alive, we alive. If we move quick enough, we actually won't get a curse. Uh, okay. Is the curse going to go up while we're here? Basically, do we want this two-handed weapon? I guess we should just take it, right? Because we should just move, 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 move. We won't get anything for moving through the door. Oh, okay, so we do get to go fight the boss here at full HP, which is awesome. Because I am not going to know how they work. 
At this point, it doesn't matter if we reach more corruption, because we're not going to gain another curse. Is this a jump attack? It is a jump attack. Alright, so lightning attacks. Bonus 1% damage per point of dexterity. So we, we're going to be doing a lot with this. We have that base uh, damage for heavy weapons up. If we ever... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am not ready. Okay. What? I can't move. Oh, my God. Can we set him on fire? We can. Oh, jeez, man. Don't know how you work, but I am going to smack you. I shall smack you with the might of Thor. That is brutal. Okay. I know I'm dodging way too many times, but like... When you don't know what's happening... Yikes. Okay, we just start smacking. Just started blasting. I mean, we do lots of damage. There's got to be a way to, uh, to, like, if we dodge through him or something. Okay, let's get that fire back on. Get wrecked. Nice and easy. Too easy. Piece of cake. I mean, I think it's supposed to be relatively easy as you work your way into the game here. Boy, we're, we've, 26 minutes. We are, we're going to go check out that other temple too, why don't we? Boom. Nice and easy. Not even close to shabby. Not even close. Harpies did the most. That does not surprise me even a little. I feel like as you're new to the game, the enemies that just show up the most frequently are going to be the ones that do the most damage to you. Uh, two new explorations available. Six new blessings. Well, for now, let's pop in. Let's get ourselves. Eh, we probably don't want to change anything there. Uh... We can unlock a new weapon of some kind. For now, let's let's just do it. You know, let's just add add new stuff as we see it. Claws of evisceration, charge attacks deal crit damage. Charge attacks send a wind slash that damage all enemies in its path. I mean, that sounds really fun. Uh, restore weapons so you can find them in the temple. Oh, I see. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. We didn't even... We never re-rolled once, but I'm going to do that anyways. We should probably stop, though. Uh, all right, so we got Whip and Machete. Let's take it and pop in. We will waste no time so that we will check out the final different style of temple, the Temple of the Serpent. Yeah, the two champions of the Eagle, the two champions of the Jaguar. Gotcha. All right. All right, so we start with money, so let's go for the attributes. We got a... Brand new run. Two in one run, son. Two in one run, son. No seeds in the bun. We'd be up in this drive through order for two. Anybody? 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 Ah, we're in like a whole freaking cave here. I... Not a fan of that guy. So that is the equivalent of a trap, I guess. Yikes. Whoop. Okay, so he, he attacks where you were, so we don't have to worry too much about tracking. We might even be able to dodge that just by moving through. The concern is whether or not there's going to be, like, a lot of those in this temple. Okay, we got a new... New set of enemies to deal with here. The hell is that thing? Okay, spits... Oh, he spits out a guy who, of course, poisons us. Of course. Is this going to actually hurt us? It does indeed. That has iframes on it. That movement of his. Get wrecked, gaming king. Welcome aboard. He parried this episode. He did it. He parried. We're doing just fine. Like, we're doing just fine, Perryless.
Perryless in Seattle. Okay. Set him ablaze. Oh boy. Oh my god. Wahapa. Stop it. Yeah. I mean, he's a he's a stinker. So he blows up after he dies like no matter what, I guess. It's a very dark area, darker than normal even. So bonus to healing sounds good to me. I uh, honestly we did that last time and I think it was a really clean uh clean idea. Starting with more max HP and more treasure find in literally our very first room. I don't really see how that can go too wrong. Probably trade some stuff to get a good old weapon here as well. Are these... Okay. So these are non-summoned versions of those guys. Chain reaction, son. Whoop! Beep. So we can actually knock them back into Papa. Oh, I bet you're happy you summoned it now, don't you? No? Do you die? You cannot die from your own poison, or you just coincidentally didn't? I'm thinking he just coincidentally didn't. Eh, eh, eh. Just gently walk. Oh, what the hell? So that's a trap. Gotcha! What is this, man? Oh my god. Okay, this just got gross. Alright, there's a lot happening here. We need to take this in pieces. Good. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, trying to parry, or not parry his attack, but trying trying to make it so we, uh, there we go. Beautiful, that's what I wanted. I, what am I talking about? I don't know. Everything is so crazy and hectic in the middle of combat. Hell if I know what I'm talking about. I hope I was speaking English so you guys could understand. Or at the very least, if I was speaking a different language, hopefully it's one you understood. Uh, what do we got? We got the secondary weapon, we got the dragon sleeve gun. Removes one corruption for every enemy killed. Bonus damage against uninjured enemies. Bonus damage if the main weapon is a mace. We can't take two. Uh, we can reroll. Serpent blade. Poison attacks. Deals critical damage while stamina is depleted. That seems like a good thing for me who is bad at stamina management. I feel like I'm often... At low, yeah. I'm often at low stamina. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to go for the path that's going to have the extra stat upgrades there. I, I think we skip the heal because we don't want the corruption and we're basically fine. Or how much is it? Is it 10? You know what, fine. Let's, it's just 10. It's 10. I would not say that that was, like, a good choice, but I'll do it anyways. Yeah, I want to go the stat upgrade route. We're going to get a curse, for sure. That's okay. As we saw in the last run in this episode, not all the curses are bad. I would go as far as to say that other one maybe even uh, helped us out quite a bit. Oh. Nope. Oh. Yikes! I got locked down. Boy, we did a lot of damage, but like... Okay. How do you like it, stinker? Alright. Greed kill, that's me. King of the greed kill. Alright, alright, alright. Got a... Spooky. Pretty spooky. This is a cool zone, though. Dang if it does not feel uh, spookier and tougher than the others. 
I believe it's supposed to be on par, theoretically. At this, at least at this point in it. Like, maybe as we get deeper into it, it's going to be, you know, harder and harder. Maybe even there's a tier list of difficulty. But it might even come down to just, like, preference and what you personally like. And maybe even certain weapons are... Maybe even certain weapons are going to be better in other ones than others. Yikes, that sound effect got me good. Okay, so we can't get locked into our... Uh... Yikes. Can't get locked into our attack. We got to be careful. Oh, up. good. So the charge attack of the dagger, yeah, it, it locks us in really quickly. We got to be very careful. Okay, so we can dodge out of it, though, right? All right. We cannot cancel it with a different attack, but we can cancel it with a dodge. Can we cancel it with a parry? Ooh. I see. I see, I see. Bonus damage for maces. I'll take the max HP. That should give us uh, a little bit more than 4% too, since we have the extra healing increase. Eh, my hand! Torch of Sorrow. Your torch loses its fire and lightning and lighting properties. You no longer take extra... Oh, this sucks. So we still reveal traps. It's Okay, so it still visually lights up the area. But we do not reveal enemies very well. I, I guess is probably the downside there. Yeah, oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Just from like a viewing exp oh, experience. Not a fan. Do we do more damage in the dark? Yikes. Or something like that, at the very least. Or is that just like uh, just darkest dungeon? Ooh! I thought maybe we would uh, chase him down there. Good. Goodbye. What are you doing? You're gonna die one day here, Mister. Thank you. God, yeah. Just just for like the visual reasons, that's just a bummer to me. It's already hard enough to see in this game. Sometimes, you know. Oh, we broke him. Nice. That was risky as hell. No! I thought we were out of it! No! Charge attack, send a wind slash. Uh, let's, let's take it. Woo! That's fun. That's very fun. Uh, we cannot ditch that one. Yeah, it's so tough to see enemies. Get out, poison. Okay. Oh, we we can break his shielding there, it looked like. How he was normally invincible. Oh, this counts as a trap. That poison cloud. All right. What the hell is happening? Who even knows? Uh, at this point, since it's not going to be a long dungeon, I think I'm just going to go with the max HP. I know we can sacrifice uh, Curse as well. Instead, rather. But I feel like that just doesn't really... I don't need to right now. The Curse, it, it hurts us short-term, potentially. And the gold is theoretically a long-term helper. But if we, uh, if there is no long-term, then what the hell does it matter? God, this dagger is super good. Super good. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so that that wombo combo is really interesting. That's the primary secondary combo. Gives us a little bit of distance between us and the enemies. 
I can't see nothing, can't see nothing. I wish I could see uh, something, but I can't see nothing. Yeah, I was, okay, good. I was hoping I would get a little bit closer there. Oh, I did not see the trap. So yeah, we can, we can break. That second hit breaks enemies. It stops their attacks too. As much as I would like it, I'm going to say no just to try and swap. Uh, you know, we, we, we used that on the first episode, a decent chunk. Oh, no! Oh! Tight. Ah, oh, heck. Finishers deal crit damage. Minus four corruption. I mean, we're gaining, what, 20 when we move through the door, so who cares, kind of? So I'm... Ah, you gotta be kidding. I hate... Ah, I hate the darkness. I literally, like, I can't even... See on my screen, and it's a personal problem. Feels a little bit more fun. We don't gain bonus damage for uh, having a mace, do we? That was not something we ended up taking, was it? Nope. That was part of a weapon that we didn't take. Okay. Plus 2% base damage for 1,000 gold. Hey, sure, fine. We get 2% then. That's probably not going to be something I'm going to care about. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. The cool thing is, since this is so short of a run, we can really take a massive corruption penalty, and we're not even going to gain another curse. So that's pretty cool. My butt. Definitely took an arrow up the butt there. Little corridor with no monsters in it. Okay, so that thing is going to wreck us. Okay. Oh, boy. So we do bonus damage when we are... I was going to say, when we have no mobility. Projectile damage increases based off of the distance traveled before impact. Uh, I'm going to say no since we used a throwing weapon at the beginning of the episode. Okay. Pop him. Pop him, lock him. Traps, traps, traps. Search for traps, Pookie. So this is probably like, this episode is probably a uh, an example of roughly, roughly what a two boss run would look like. I think those would mostly be a little bit shorter though. Oh, good. Nope. I think those would mostly be a little bit shorter because I think that they make them actively have a little bit less rooms before each boss, which actually does make the run harder as well because you have less time to get good. Uh... Love for the Blood Gods? I know we could reroll. That gives us the dex as well. Oh, shoot! No! Oh, darn nabbit! I did it! I thought that it wouldn't overflow. It overflows. Shadow Flame. Uh, some brazers can now burn with a dark flame and cannot be lit. I can't light those anyways. So as far as curses go, if I had to get two, that doesn't really matter. Because I... Like that, I would say as far as curses go, that's relatively synergistic. Yikes. Oh! God, that was clean. Put up your shield, stinker. Look if I care. Look if I care. Uh, we're getting a little bit too, uh, a little bit too flimsy with our dodging practices. I wish those um, vacuumed into us. Yeah, that's hardly a problem. Kills increase momentum. I'm gonna ditch that for now. I know we could pick it up. I know we literally do not have anything in that slot. I just want to make sure we uh, get a clean victory if we can. And that amount of HP may not seem like a lot, but I think it'll make a big difference. We do not want that thing to be attacked. Woo! 
Nice, uh, nice, sir. Uh. Spin for victory. Victory spin. Okay. Yikes. Oh, double yikes. Triple yikes. Okay. Get out of there. Clean stuff. Oh, man. When combat flows in this game, there's nothing be more beautiful. Nothing. Uh, so we get 20 for entering a door. Do we have a way to crit? Alright, we're going to get the curse anyways. I'll take this for the extra crit. Maybe we'll be able to use it. Yes, I know we could have re-rolled. Maybe we would have been able to get something better. Fingers crossed that this is one of those curses that exists in the game that does not really impact you versus a boss. Devious darts. All dart launcher traps are now active. Darts deal poison damage. Uh, I guess the trade-off is that it does it to the enemies, too. Hopefully there's none in the boss fight, though. I... Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're doing pretty good work. I'm trying to go down to zero. Oh my god. Zero stamina. And it is working. Like, I am down at zero. He's a bullet hell boss. Okay. Oh, oh my god! We're gonna be fine. Yep. We're, oh my god, we're gonna be fine, but boy, we are taking unnecessary damage for sure. What is the deal, mister? Okay. God, if there was more run after this, we're taking so much. This boss fight is garbage. We're, uh, not the boss fight's not garbage. We are we are garbage in this boss fight. Boy, that that boss is definitely going to take a little bit of learning to process. But it's good that they they make you do these, and then the penalty for doing bad on them is not very high. You know, uh, first of all, because like we just don't we just didn't take very much damage. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I think that'll go up over time. But we will also get meta progression stuff. So. All right. Well, holy moly. There's a double trouble. We'll be on to a two-boss run in the next episode now. One new exploration is available. Twelve new blessings. Uh, okay. Well, oof. what are we going to unlock? What, what is this? Your greed kill counter never runs out when you're out of combat. There's only, there's only a couple things that... Tamak's Breath, Grace of the Tempest... Reptilian hunger. So there's one per. Physical attacks have a 15% 50 chance to turn into fire attacks. Whoa. One dex every time you complete a room without taking damage. Yeah. Your greed kill counter never runs out when you're out of combat. Does not reset between rooms. Damage increases by 1% per active greed count. Ah. So there's the red, blue, green. Goes with it. All right. Cool stuff. Oh, we have an extra blessing slot now. Okay. Greed kills restore another stamina. 50% damage for 6 seconds when you take damage. That could be a good thing to get when we are new and bad. Like we are right now. 5 decks at the start of your run. Which is damage. Sure, fine. We'll, we'll split it up. We get one of every kind right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Alright, evading, evading an attack with the offhand combo. Fully restores your stamina. I mean, that's... We, I don't think we did that a single time when we had it before. Crits against weak foes reflects 50% of parried. <laughs> uh, parry, I see. I read parry, I sleep. Storm's point, lightning attacks, poison attacks. Charge attack strikes three times in a line behind the point of impact. So this is a two-handed mace that does basically what that boss guy did. Or not the boss, just that random basic enemy. Yike. Uh, passive illumination. You know what? That sounds like a, a great old, uh, 
Great old weapon for a streamer to have. A YouTube boy. But alas, that is going to do it for today. This has been Curse of the Dead Gods. Make sure you click the like button if you want this series to go on for quite a while. We have a lot of game left to play here. Oh my god, we have not even unlocked the normal run effectively. Yeah, challenge two, challenge two, challenge two. I think that, yeah, we go one boss, two boss, three bosses. And I'm going to assume that this tippy top thing here is like a combination. It's like your standard randomized run. Uh, that you probably go one boss from here, one boss from here, one boss from here. That's my educated guess, and I hope that that's the case because I think that would be really, really slick. Uh, but alas, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.